Hello everyone, I am Super Duck Boy and today I'm going to show you my Zen Getaway Speed Build. As you can see, this is a really simple build. I didn't want to make it over the top and complicated because again it's supposed to be Zen and simple. I started off with building just the foundation. I had in mind everything you see over here which is like the big overlap of the wall in the front of the house and also in the back. I want to make him really narrow but still have a little bit of a character to it. As you can see, I kept it really simple. It's only one floor. And another thing that I wanted to do that you will see during this build build is that I want to make it all open floor and, no, and almost no doors inside the build which I managed to do beside one door inside of the guest bathroom and I guess that it's forgivable because who want to go to a house and use the guest bathroom and then everybody in the house will see you I mean no one want to do that and this build was actually one of my really old builds that I never published in The Sims 3 and I want to do it again on The Sims 4, this time a bit more modern and a bit more simpler. As you can see we jumped around a bit because I really struggled with picking up the colors and textures to this house. Eventually I went with those walls over here that you can see and I think it really gave it like these Japanese vibes or oriental vibes as you can see. And with the straight line windows and everything. I also used the uh, scuffed bricks in the textures inside the house also that we'll get there soon. And now you can see I'm just adding a bit of decoration to the outside walls and the, the overhangs of the roof. I think it really added, even though a normal person would never see the top of it, I really think it will add a nice touch to the house. Anyway, I'm just babbling on. And another thing that I want to do with this house is making the entire entire house also white and industrial inside, but still keep this Japanese and Zen vibes to it. We'll talk about it a little more when we get to it. And I really think that using the whites inside really make the house pop a little more inside and I'm just gonna let you watch the, the rest of it and when we get to the inside I will talk to you again. Starting to make the floor plan to the house and again I want to make it entirely open concept so what I did instead of making a door to the bedroom I just made an overlap of two walls and I think it really made like a nice niche touch to the house it make it feel like there's another separate area but still you think it's keep it flowing inside I don't know how to say it anyway I really think it contributes to the zen feel of the house don't try to ask me what the Zen. Oh, and by the way, over here, I'm not trying to place a rug on the roof. I thought there's a window or a glass roof and something like that. And I never found one because in The Sims 3, you did head with them, if I remember correctly. Maybe one of the, of the extra packs I have. I need to check it out. Anyway, now that I chose the flooring, I went with the concrete flooring to the entire house to keep, keep it simple and industrial. And it might look strange because it, it's a boring flowing to, the inter, to this entire house, but it really worked out, I think, and you'll see it in the end. And also another thing, I used this scarf brick inside, and also I used a gray wooden panels to it. And it's just a nice mix of texture that doesn't really collide too much, and I had a nice fun twist to it. Right now I'm choosing the counter to the 
to the entire kitchen and there's not a lot of to choose from but eventually I went with those. I really thought the dark wood break up the whites and made it a bit more industrial and fun. As you can see I'm also adding another another bowl in the middle of the kitchen and this is really going really fast as I built it it was really slow. But another feature that I really like on the Sims 4 is I really haven't built a lot on it. It's that in the Sims 4 you can place actually sinks on your countertops, also on your like bar countertops. And I really like this feature because it's most of the kitchen today you can see this. There in the middle of the island you have a, a sink, and I think in the Sims 3 you couldn't do it without any cheats. And I, right now I decided to add another breakfast area or like a dining area inside the kitchen just so the sims can eat properly and I really like this chair inside this I think they add up everything together and you can see I try to mix and match the texture of them but there isn't a lot to choose from but still it has a nice touch and eventually I went with lighting the lighting feature that you will see yeah this one in the blue color even though you can't really see it but you will see it in the picture in the end and right now I'm just decorating a bit the kitchen and having a little fun with it. And also there's tons of decoration in the Sims for something that I learned in this build and it's really fun because you can really make the place look livable without any downloaded, downloaded content and it's really fun. I really wish that the Sims 4 had more of this. There's even inside the decoration another tablet for Clutter and I really think it's a nice idea and nice touch. And I really should try to play more of the Sims 3 4 after thinking about it. Even though I miss a lot of features like the terrain features and and like on and pretty much everything that calls with it that you can do and like make half a floor and stuff like that. And the Sims 4 really can do it. You can place like those half walls to, to fake it. And it's nice. I did it on this roof of the house and it's really add up. But I think. It needed to be like a real feature, it really added depth inside the build of the house. And right now we're just choosing the bar stools, I went with those. Even though they're really industrial, I think it doesn't make the kitchen look any less homey, as we can say. Because of the dark woods and everything inside of it. And yeah, and I added a bunch of flowers because everything looks better with flowers, if you ask me. And just make the place more green and eye-popping. Okay, and right now we again we're choosing some decorations and yeah I really spent a lot of time choosing things it's weird because when you're playing the game you never you look at it you never like saying to yourself well I'm spending a lot of time because usually play with your music on or something like that and you just like go through the things and never think about how many how much time you spend picking out all the things but looking back at it I spent a lot of time picking those things and eventually I'll, I choose something that I really like. I think it was... I can't even remember. It was a kind of flower. Oh yeah, I chose the funnel one. I don't think it's a nice touch to it. But also it's just some nice painting inside of the Sims 4. And I really was surprised to check them out. Because also in the Sims 3 I, I really didn't have a lot of paintings to choose from until all the... That all the like... All the packs that came with it and everything and over here there's a tons of pictures and even every picture have like different varieties sometimes and it's really nice because you don't want to repeat yourself in the pictures and what are we going oh yeah right now we're just adding stuff to the shelf and again i'm i chose the shelves over like the top counters because i think it's make it a little more flowy and go with the open concept that goes around the house. It's really make it even more industrial, but yet it's keep it very clean and I think I really like the end result in the kitchen. I think it's one of the best kitchen I ever made. Okay, and right now I think we're going to move to the bedroom. Oh no, we're gonna do, I decided to make a little niche inside the entrance. Just like a little place, you know, when you come home, you don't want to go straight ahead to your kitchen. You want to 
place that you can sit down, maybe take off your shoes or take your coat or something like that, check yourself in the mirror before you go. I really think it adds values to houses, even though in real life it's nicer to go inside the lobby instead of straight ahead to business. I think it's more expensive like that, I don't know. And right now I'm just adding a... I decided that the guest bathroom needed a window even though it looked good at the outside. I found a way to add a window over there. And right now this is the bedroom and I decided to go in with the open concept and make the bathroom and bedroom one piece. And I thought of making like this center wall but then I look at it and it looked quite funny. Even though I found like a really good bed that goes with it. But eventually we we went with the wall but I we changed it shortly, you can see it to change right about now I think. Yeah, I, so I decided to instead of just making it half walls and full wall, just one piece of a full wall. And then I even moved it to the side of things just to break a little bit of the symmetry that goes around. I think the breaking the symmetry really adds to the room itself. And I thought to myself, well it's a nice bedroom. Maybe you want to just not sit on your bed, maybe you want to sit around on the, on the cushions or something like that and have a nice reading area or something like that. So this is what I did over here and I found those little cushions that it seems actually can sit on and I think it's a nice addition. And now we're choosing the lights and I think we're going to add a library too, yes. I think it's also on the only bookcases inside those house, so if you choose to download this house from the sims gallery maybe you can add them more more or maybe you can be fine with those too i think it's nice to have the bookcase inside the, your bedroom because i usually when i read books it's late at night before i go to bed but there are some people who like to read their book in the middle of the day they have time for it and so why not and right now i i wanted to add picture to this wall but it looked really good clean like that and eventually i think i went with and a wall clock and it was really nice to see a wall clock over there it's added to the whole feel of the room without any weird shapes on it I don't know I really like the end result over there too I think the interior inside this house was really simple but it's really nice to look at it was really pleasing to the eye and yeah right now we're choosing the wall clock and you can see I tried to mess around with a lot of wall clocks, but eventually I went with this one, the really simple one. I fuzz it up a little bit, which is another nice feature in The Sims 4. And most of the things I did in the house was really research how to use The Sims 4, because up until now I, really, I haven't really played and tried to build a good house inside The Sims 4, because I haven't really had the time for it. This is when you're a student, you don't really have time for anything. But I found myself sometimes I decided to check it out and do a really nice house. And actually I would love to live in this house. I think it's a really inspiring house to just live inside and create stuff and whatnot. And right now I'm deciding to do a, like a fake vanity inside the bathroom. I just use countertops and added to them the scene and some decoration around it. And again it's a bit of symmetry because I like because again the game won't allow you to do it in, in the middle of the two countertops and I also thought it really added to the entire thing. Also I added a mirror over here. Because I think it's a really nice touch and those towels on the floor. In real life you probably won't leave your towels on the floor but I think it look really nice and add to the bathrooms. And again it's the same so they really don't care where the towels are. They don't even care about the towels because they probably won't use them. It's, purely just decoration for them and we're just about to wrap up the bathroom over here as you can see I decided to go oh yeah and the final touch was again again a pot a potted plant that's hanged from the wall and yes I like adding a lot of potted plants to my builds I really think it's a touch to them and right now we are going to do just the guest bathroom and this is the only door inside this interior there's two doors that lead to the outside but only one in the inside and i really like this concept i think it's not for everyone i mean not not everyone would like to live inside a room that you cannot close and shut off from the world but i would love to live inside this room and also 
Oh yeah, another thing that I did, I made the room a little bit smaller because it's only a, a toilet and a sink and it would look really weird if it was really long and the toilet was on the other end and I thought it would look a little bit more neater even though it's a little more crowded. I don't know. I, sometimes you don't need to, stuff to be really big in order to look good, I don't know. And right now we're going to the living room. And in the living room I try to break a bit like the dullness of the white, which you're going to see soon. I did it on the sofa. And I made it a really nice accent color. I thought it added a nice touch to it. And as you can see, I, really, I go with a really modern and clean line sofa. And here you can see I made a yellow sofa, yeah? You might think it's weird because you probably won't go to the store and buy yourself a yellow sofa. But I really think it looks neat inside this house and add to it. And like this oriental texture on the chair, which is also yellow. I think it ties up everything with the zen feel. And again, I'm not sure it's really proper to say it's zen feel. I don't know. I can't... Wait, let me check what zen actually means. And I'll get back to you on that. So, by Wikipedia, then it's actually Chinese and, oh wow, it's a form of Buddhism. Oh, there's a lot of stuff to read about it. Anyways, if you want to read about Zen, you can find it on the Wikipedia page. It's from the Tang Dynasty and it's a it's observing your breath, mind, and group meditation and stuff, and there's a lot to it. And actually, and yes, like I said, it's more of a meditation zone. And this is, I really think this is what the house gives you. It gives you like a really like clean and silent kind of vibe to it, but you still really enjoy to watch it, but it still gives you like a clean mindset. So I think working inside this house will be really nice because there's not a lot of distraction to take care of mind of things. And right now we're finishing the, in the inside with this little work area with a computer and I think I'm going to put an easel and also a grand piano because I really love those grand pianos and I think they're excellent in any house and I wish I had one in my house but it is a little bit big to my house. That is a really nice grand piano and I think now we're putting the easel and also we're going to put a sound system inside the house because even though there's a grand piano maybe they still won't know how to play this so they need to hear music in other ways. And over here I decided to put a, another bookcase and then I decided not to do it because I really like again the cleanliness of the wall. And it looks a little bit burned but again it's a style that goes with with the entire vibes of this house. If I added a much more cluttered area, I think it will break everything that I try to do inside this house. And again, potted plants everywhere because they're fun to do. And they add colors and liveliness to your house. You should really try adding more potted plants to your house. And I think we are about to wrap up with those two chairs and a big yeah this is the sound system a really modern one as you should expect from what you've seen so far right now we're just adding the potted plants and i tried to make them closer and i couldn't remember the move the move object sheets on the sims 4 so i just tried to do it as close as closer as i could with the alt key and fin finishing with final touches over here I decided to also add this huge pot over there. I don't know why, but I thought to myself, maybe the guy, the guy or girl who live inside this house really like modern art and collecting old pieces. And maybe they collected this big vase from somewhere and they want to display it inside the house. I think it's nice to, when you build your house, try to imagine who wants to live in it. I thought to myself, maybe I would like to live in it in some part when I built it and eventually I will probably live inside this house. Right now we're going to the backyard which was really nice. I really like what ended up being the backyard. 
as you can see we just had in the fence around which was the same color as the wall so I was really pleased with that and then we added the gate and we're going to switch it because I found this gate which was much more modern to it and also a pool because even though it's a tiny backyard you can still go swimming inside of it and I decided to take the brick and continue them inside and all over the pool and I think right now we're about to do the pathway along the house which again is concrete and I do it put them in a blue color because why not blue is nice and again I made some changes because the, the like this concrete pattern have, have square patterns to it and if you do it slightly off it looks slightly off it looks like a half slab of in the middle of nowhere and I want to look clean as possible with full slabs everywhere and this is what I did and also I added a little tiny eating area or just sitting area if you want to go and sit outside because you have a nice garden and so you want probably want to appreciate it and then I'm just sectioning off all the places that I want to add flowers inside this is not going to be one of them I decided that I'm going to section it off and right now as you can see I'm sectioning everywhere that I want flowers and right here I decided to add another water feature which was the fountain and I really like this fountain, I really think it added because maybe if you go from the back entrance it's a nice touch to see it and also the lily pads and this water feature that just flowing waters everywhere I think it's a nice touch to the house and right now we just about I think over here I'm going to add flowers and right about here I was when I really need to move objects cheats on and I think I checked it out, not right now, oh yeah, I found this feature, this feature is really nice, I didn't even know that they have it, you can change the water texture to your pool and everything that has water inside of it, and I think it's a really nice addition because in The Sims 4 you don't have really, you don't have the pawn tool, but you have this tool that allows you to make it like a murky water to look like it is a pond and even though it's not the real thing I think it's a nice addition to it and as you can see we're just jutting around flowers everywhere and I really struggled just putting them even without the alt key didn't want to move so yeah right now was when I decided to check out the the actual cheat for move objects on in the sims and I found it and I was so happy to find it because look how much the garden look right now it's much better when like I really like cramming the flowers together like that it maybe look like it's unattended garden and just go wild but I think there's um, rules to the chaos over there and not just flowers everywhere at least that's what I think if you think different you can say to yourself and maybe download this house and change a bit I think it will be nice but I still really like the garden even though it's really small and simple and I'm just adding some light fixtures around the garden to make it light up and more fairy I don't, it's like a fairy garden when the lights are hidden inside the flowers and it's a really nice addition and right now I decided to go with like the zen feel and put a meditation area to the zen garden which is not really a zen garden but you can meditate inside of it and I really think it's a nice addition I would love to try meditate over there and for some decoration and we're about to wrap this thing up just a few more things left to do so I'm going to leave you with the rest of the garden which is just the front garden and I hope you like this video if you did please leave a like and maybe try to subscribe to me because I'm going to try and do more content like this and if you really like this house you can find it inside the sims 4 gallery it's called the zen getaway and i hope you like it and have a nice day everyone